The five best ingredients to control oily skin, as proven by science. I recently posted a skin science video talking about oil, why our skin produces it, and what we can do about it. And although I talked a little bit about ingredients and really dove into kind of how oil is produced and how our diet or genetics or even the weather that we hang out in can impact our skin, I didn't actually give product recommendations. A couple people commented and said, hey, I'm confused. And then when I got online and started searching, I was equally as overwhelmed. A lot of the advice that's out there on controlling oily skin isn't actually geared towards oily skin. It's only geared towards acne and has nothing to do with oil. And while it's true, oil is a component of acne prone skin, today I want to talk about the ingredients that are scientifically proven to either combat or help with oil production, which in many cases can help with acne. But for instance, one blog online said tea tree oil. I love tea tree oil. I use it in my skincare routine, but it doesn't help with oil production. It helps with acne. So if you are suffering with oily skin, um, particularly if you do have oily skin and acne, these are the five things that you want to look for on the back of those ingredient bottles. Now the first one that I really love is salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is a BHA acid, meaning a beta hydroxy acid. It is fat soluble, and this is important because it means it can actually do some work in your skin when it comes to oil. Oil is a fat. You know, your oil in your skin, your sebum, is made up of fatty acids. So salicylic acid can actually do some work. The way a salicylic acid product works is by going onto the skin and it actually loosens up the oil, the gunk, and the glue that holds your skin cells together. This is also why it's really helpful for acne because it can decrease inflammation and it can help the skin exfoliate properly. But specifically for those who are dealing with oil, salicylic acid based products can be helpful for oily prone skin. And if you do have acne, it's like a double whammy. The ones that I would recommend are really a lot of the over-the-counter acne ones. Murad has a great one. There are also some from Acne Free, which are pretty good. Uh, yes to Tomatoes is a drugstore line that is more natural that has a ton of different options. And then there are some more expensive options that do have salicylic acid, which uh, tend to be a little bit more natural, which I also love and stand behind. But again, turn over those labels, read those ingredients, and that's how you're gonna find out what's actually in your skincare. Don't read the front, read the back. Secondly, let's talk about retinol, and in this group I am also including retinaldehyde-based products as well as synthetic retinols, such as Differin or Adapalene Gel. Now, these all are kind of in the same family group. They're derived from vitamin A, but these are extremely helpful for oily prone skin. They're also used in the treatment of wrinkles and the management of wrinkles and acne. Now remember that not all retinoids are created equal. You have different kinds. And the way these work in the skin is that your skin actually breaks them down. Now what's fascinating is that our body produces retinol. It's very important. And on the inside of our cells, there are actually receptors for it. And when it comes to topical retinoids, that's kind of how they work. Over time, it can actually change the way our skin behaves. It changes the genes within our skin, specifically inside of that hair follicle, inside of that oil gland, and it basically trains the skin to stop producing as much oil. This is also why it's super helpful in acne management, because oil is a key component of acne. But if you do have oily skin and no acne at all, these could still be a really good bet. They also have been shown to penetrate really deep into the dermis, where they can help with collagen production and collagen synthesis, meaning the rubber bands that hold your skin together are going to get a little bit more elastic. So these are used in the treatment and management of wrinkles, um, of sunspots, things like post-inflammatory pigmentation or hyperpigmentation. So these are really great. And this includes retinol, retinaldehyde, uh, retinoic acid, which is a prescription, and then something like adapalene gel, which is a synthetic retinoid that is patented by Galderma, but it is scientifically proven to help with acne and some of these other issues that are related. The next ingredient that is scientifically proven is clay, specifically betonite clay or kaolin clay. The way that clays kind of work is by absorption. They can be very helpful for acne, they can be used to tighten the skin, but overall, this is basically a powder that is very, very absorbent. 
And so when you apply this to the skin, by virtue, it absorbs either oil or water. And because it has small particles, it can get into those pores. So if you have blackheads, which is an open comedone type of acne, it's great. But even if you just have oily skin or even an oily scalp, betonite clay or kaolin clay can be a really good go. Charcoal is another compound that is very absorbent. Charcoal could also be a good idea. And then sulfur is usually used in the management of acne and it is actually the most abundant element in the universe, FYI. But by virtue, they are extremely absorbent and therefore can absorb oil. The fourth thing is one that I personally think is like a best kept secret. This was monumental in clearing my own acne and controlling my own oil. And for those who have tried some of the things that have worked for me, I've gotten a lot of feedback, emails, Instagram DMs, even comments here on YouTube saying that something that seems a little bit counterintuitive because it's literally a soap that some people use to clean regular things was so beneficial for acne and for oil control. And I wanna dive into a little bit of the science of this. So this is Castile soap, and it is literally saponified oils. I always use the liquid ones. This one happens to be from Dr. Bronner. And the ingredients in here are oils, such as hemp or tea tree. But because they are saponified, they have gone through a chemical reaction in which they are no longer oils. They are basically like, there's little nanoparticles of oils or micelles that are in this. And they are extremely um, amazing at degreasing, at cleaning, um, for washing, etc. Now, in full strength, they can be drying to the skin. And I have to be honest, I think that the reason this has worked so well on my skin is because my skin has been so oily. And this actually helps to remove makeup and break down oils and remove them. A lot of cleansers on the market just go on and kind of move stuff around or they try to remove things off the top, but they don't actually break them down. But this actually goes onto the skin and into the skin and actually encapsulates particles such as dirt, such as leftover makeup and such as oil. So although this has been great for my acne and for some other people, I think that it is amazing at oil control. Now I do notice that my skin feels a little bit dry after I'm done using it. So you should probably be using a moisturizer if you feel that your skin needs it. But if this is something you have not tried, try it in a diluted version, any Castile soap, and see if it helps you with this degreasing. Because of the way it is chemically structured, it is a way to literally grab and get rid of oil. And for myself with oily skin and for other people who deal with oil, it has been wonderful. And very lastly, something else that seems counterintuitive is oil, jojoba oil, and something like hyaluronic acid. Now, I am not recommending oil for oily prone skin because not all oils are created equal. However, there is a catch. For some people who have oily skin, your skin is actually dry. We talked about this in the skin science episode, but your skin is smart. If it feels dry and dehydrated naturally, it produces its own oil. And when it does that, your skin gets overly oily. So that's not the case for everyone. If your oil is genetic, if your oil is caused by something dietary, if your oil is caused by your environment or by stress levels and therefore hormones, this might not be it for you. But if you do have naturally dry skin that your skin is therefore overproducing, a hydrating moisturizer or something hydrating will be the way to go. Because when you give your skin that moisture, it doesn't need to overproduce its own. This is one from Trader Joe's that is jojoba oil. This is about five to $10 and I love this. This is what I use, I think it is amazing. And there are scientific research papers showing that it is an amazing hydrator. There have been studies on it that show that people feel more hydrated, that they like the slip, they like the natural hydrating feeling. And on top of that, jojoba oil somewhat mimics the sebum in our own skin. Um, helps to kind of increase the balance of squalene versus waxy esters versus free fatty acids. And so this is an amazing hydrator if it's what your skin needs. Other options would be things such as hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid holds multiple times its own weight in water. It is a humectant and it can really help. Um, but if you live in a very dry climate and if your skin is dehydrated, it might dehydrate you more. So you want to use hyaluronic acid with a moisturizer or you want to use a hyaluronic acid product when you are in a humid climate. But if your oily skin is caused by dryness, hydrators are the way to go. 
all of this information online that I saw when I was just kind of searching through was so confusing. So as confusing as that was, I wanted to create this for you. The five ingredients that you should look for, I will link them all below along with some scientific research papers that you can actually do your homework uh, because I don't want you to take what I say is truth. I want you to do your own research, look into stuff on your own and come to your own conclusions so that you have an opportunity to turn knowledge into power for your own skin. If you do want to see the skin science video on how your skin produces oil, why it does, and what to do, you can watch that here. And if you want to see the 10 products I recommend for acne that are under $15, you can watch that here. Always remember to be beautiful inside and out. I love you beautiful butterflies, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. <sighs> love you guys. Bye.